like Ricky Bobby, I don't know what to do with my hands. Um, <laughs> uh, what's up, y'all? Today is August 30th, I think. Yep. yep. Okay. 30. Uh, about 8 30 at night, we out here working on the truck. Got Chandler on this side, Brandon on this side. Uh, I had to go ahead and do that bag bracket to make sure I could still remember how to do it. We're about to show you how to do the driver's side. Um, welcome back, part five. Maybe we can educate y'all on something this time. Thank you for watching. Alright, we live. Alright, so infamous pre-drills your hole for the bottom the bottom bag bracket. Uh, we're going to center this uh, top bracket over that. Let's going to put the center right there. Alright. Here's your upper bag bracket. It's going to recess into the frame like so. First thing we're going to do is measure across here. That is eight inches, which means I need four inches on each side of that line cut out. And it is also two and three quarter inches tall. So we're gonna need an eight inch by two and three quarter inch hole there. First party foul of the night. Gravity chick. Oh no, we've been here for like four hours, so this is not <laughs> the first foul of the night, I can assure you. It sounds good for you too. Alright, and then we're gonna cut it right along the bottom with the frame here. I'm not gonna mark that because Alright, so uh, we're gonna put a little pressure on the back of the frame so it don't do this number. That would be bad. Nelson would probably be mad. Yep. So there's a little bit of pressure and cut in the middle of the frame. Proper equipment. PPE. No, proper equipment, not protective equipment. Hey, tell me if it's hot. Hey! Alright, cut, sir. Dan off. Hey! Catch your ride? Yeah. Truck broke down? No. That boy got a haircut. Take that hat off. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Tough hat. <laughs> Tough hat. <laughs> Tell the punk to get out. I told him. Hey, man. I got on for him. Dang. Burning too much gas? No, I mean, I ain't really burning a lot of gas this week, but she. Come 
Come on, man. You can't be cussing on my YouTube channel. <laughs> I might figure out how to bleep that out, man. We're just, I'm just panning between y'all while y'all talk. <laughs> Gas didn't come on until 28 miles. Holy crap. How long does it usually have? About 50? 50 miles. Looks kind of terrifying, don't it? Got that much of a frame out? There's like a. What, what are you doing there? Is that where you mount in the back? There's a lot missing. This man on the back truck and asked me what I was doing there. Well, I know you got two. Yeah, see, it's a Attached the room up there. I didn't know yeah. if you had back nah. somewhere. Nah, this, uh, just slides right in. Well, look at it. The rocket glove. Look at that. Look, get up yeah, under there. Good. Get up under there. Look at that. Just like a glove. Look at that. Oh. I'm breaking the gimbal. I think that's the best I've ever cut one. <laughs> <laughs> that does look mighty good. Y'all shut up, man. You two does not agree. Alright, let's get the welder out. Hold that right there, sir. And. Yeah. Uh, I ordered them yesterday. It's usually two days, and then they ship, and two days to get here, so it should be here Friday. But I got a lift to put on Thursday. Uh, that seven and a half inch rough country. Alright, the floor jack. Yeah, just push it in there. It don't fit much better than that. Are you still filming? Yeah. Oops. You can just cut the sound out of that yeah, one. Yeah, I can cut it out. Yeah, half your video you posted today, it had the sound. <laughs> Makes you wonder what we're talking about, don't it? doing a tap dance over there. Man. I can laugh at that. It went down my shirt and then in my shoe at the same time. <laughs> I should probably have a jacket on. Dan's out here working today on a Saturday. Y'all check this contraption out we come up with. Took the old gray in, welding under the shackle hangers. So I can roll it in and out. New axles come in yesterday, so we fixing to cut this out of the way, put the new axles in, get the rear end back together where we can put those wheels on that axle. Uh, airbags in, front and rear. Uh, Got to get some fittings for rear airbags today and it should air up and down on shop air today got my personal model dan here to showcase y'all some uh moser axles street series three inches narrow in a factory i believe they were 30 spline and should slide right in there with a c-clip here's how we do it
Nailed it. All right, so we're finally getting around to uh, rebuilding this front end steering. Got everything in from Rock Auto. Me and Dan's gonna see just how fast we can do this. Set the camera up and get with it. So, uh, suspension rebuild, steering, whatever. 14 minutes. Not bad, sir. Not bad. Um, all this grease. So, the weekend's over. It's a good spot to stop this video. Uh, we got all the suspension pretty much done, minus shocks. That's on shop air. Um, got a rough in the alignment a little closer. And I got air compressors mounted to the frame, which I didn't get a video of. Um, got to get some tubing tomorrow to start bending up an air tank mount. Once I get the tubing, going to get the air tank mount, get a wiring plumb where to move on its own. And uh, got to be in the short rows in. Uh, got to build fenders, raise bed floor. Uh, but once we get it where you can crank it up, air it up on its own, and drive it, getting close in. I appreciate y'all checking it out. Uh, come back part six. I know I said on video one it would probably take me twenty. It's that's the way it's looking. But y'all come back check out part six and uh, thank you for watching.